afternoon. Today it happened again, the return of the sharp shin hawk. I just call it a chicken hawk. I um I'm gonna have to redo some of my videos because I did two videos earlier and I think I um referenced the hawk as a falcon but it's not actually the Texas prairie falcon it's actually as I got a closer description of it it is a sharp shin hawk which is um very common in this neighborhood that I live in but it it attacked again today but last week it was sparrows and this week, he decided he wanted doves. So there's been two dove kills this week and uh, one serious injury. And so I warn you, if you have a weak stomach or if you're squeamish or if, if you're very sensitive, then don't watch this video because I am going to show you what a kill looks like, what an assault looks like kind of like a crime scene I guess so once again if you have a weak stomach or if you're sensitive to animal abuse of, or anything like that a little blood don't watch this video so consider yourself warned um, and then I'll talk about it at the end of the video Shalom The hawk came back today. He got another dove. What happened? Oh, poor, poor baby. I'm so, so sorry. I don't know where he is either. He is making a mess of things over here. I guess you want a dove. You must be a baby because you're still just sitting there in shock. Took your mate. You took your mate, huh? Oh. oh, you poor thing. Somebody gonna have to feed you. Somebody gonna have to feed you. What happened? You took a wing? snap out of it. Poor baby. Oh, chicken hawk is getting crazy. You the only one that's not scared, huh? It's your big behind. You just here to get nuts and stuff. off the bird because the, the falcon did not come back I mean the hawk did not come back and the sparrows started to um, gather up the feathers so I believe that um, they're gonna use those feathers hey get out my yard shoot shoot Woo! neighbor's dog so, um, what's going to happen next, I really don't know. Um, he 
either the crows are going to finish off the body. I know that the sparrows have finished off the... Um, Guess they're going to use it in their nest so this is all part of nature um i guess the crows being scavengers they're going to i guess they're going to finish it off my neighbor's dog needs to stay out my yard as well i don't think uh he killed the bird i don't he, i don't think he would be fast enough but um still alive it's still moving around little by little but this is life y'all i mean this is nature like i said i'm not going to interfere because this is what goes on in nature and we are not supposed to interfere with stuff Okay, so I went back outside. I waited about an hour and I went back outside to look. Well, I didn't actually go outside. I, I, I peered from the window and the dove is still there, still badly injured, still in shock. I'm not going to touch it because uh, that's just nature and there's really there isn't anything that I can actually do for it. The injuries are very bad. It will probably die. Uh, if, if the, if the uh, hawk does not come back to finish it, come back to get it, it will probably die sometime later today. I don't think it's going to survive. And um, another reason that I don't interact with them other than just feeding and filming is because animals do carry pathogens and you know we have to be careful about touching them you don't know what kind of sickness they have that's one of the reasons that we have the the virus um, going out through the world now is because of the um, well they say it was an animal thing you know some pathogen that jumped from an animal to a human so I never touch them and I just let nature take its course. Um, I do enjoy uh, feeding birds. I do enjoy bird watching. I've seen some beautiful birds come through my yard. But I don't ever actually touch them. And, um, you know, there are some people who, who think that these are strong omens. And and it is a strong omen. It, it really is. It, it goes to show that um, we were living in the time of the dove as Big Judah brought out um, in a couple of his videos about a year or so ago with the Keys of Enoch book. Um, when Columbus came here in 1492, he was led by a dove symbolizing the Holy Spirit, leading them over here to the fourth part to take over our kingdom and to take our land from us as we fell um, into disobedience and we had to pay the price for our disobedience, breaking the laws and the commandments of the Most High. And so as a result of that, we, um, we were conquered and we fell into slavery. So when we talk about the 400 years, we're only referring to Judah, the kingdom of Judah and Benjamin. But prior to that, 1492, up into the 1800s, it was the 10 tribes of Israel, the northern kingdom. And so when I look at this, if you want to talk about it being an omen, to me, it shows that the time of the dove coming here to the Americas, leading Columbus here for uh, Edom to take over everything, then we can see that their time is over 
they have a very little bit of time left. And so that's what this symbolizes to me. And you might have a different point of view, but uh, nature is nature. This goes on in nature. And that is just my biblical point of view. That's just my personal opinion. You might have a different opinion, but that's my opinion of it. That's the way I see it. Uh, that America will fall soon. Very, very soon. You know, we're in a great tribulation. And nature gives us signs. Uh, the heavens gives us signs. We just had a full uh, super blood moon, the flower moon. And it also was eclipsed moon. So, I mean, like, these are just signs that your time is over, baby. Your time is over. And people can be patriotic if they want to and try to fight for it to their dying death. Well, have at it. You know, prophecy is prophecy. Prophecy is prophecy. And um, I think about Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 12. Know it not his time, for man also know it not his time, as the fishes that are taken in an evil net, and as the birds that are caught in the snare, so are the sons of men snared in an evil time, when it falleth suddenly upon them. Ecclesiastes 9, verse 12. Shalom.